you. So with that, let's move on to our next story. Now, our next story is all about, again, hypocrisy. The question of hypocrisy when it comes to Sheena Shea and her affair with Eddie. Does Sheena have the right to judge and come after Raquel when Sheena herself carried on a long-term affair with a very married man? As we all know, Eddie is Brandy Glanville, Brandy Glanville's ex-husband, and Sheena was cheating with him for a while, including during the time when Brandy was pregnant with their second child. So let's get into it. Sheena is defending herself according to Us Weekly. Let's go. Not all cheating scandals are created equally. Sheena Shea is defending herself as she continues to publicly support Ariana amid Tom Sandoval and Raquel's cheating scandal. Always got your back. Hashtag Team Ariana Sheena wrote alongside a pic with Ariana on Sunday, March 5th via Instagram. In the comment sections, fans brought up, whoa, whoa, one second, sorry. In the comment section, a fan brought up the good as gold singers pass with Eddie. As Bravo fans may recall, the the reality star cheated with the actor who was 49 amid his marriage to Brandy Glanville before he married Leanne Rimes. Wonder who had at Brandy Glanville's back, the troll wrote. I'm not going to call this person a troll. I think this is a valid question. I think it's a valid question and one that Sheena can respond to. Okay, here we go. So quick to team up, but let's not forget you walked in Raquel's shoes at Sheena. Sheena fired back. I don't recall having an affair with my best friend's boyfriend knowingly, but go off. The backdoor pilot of Vanderpump Rules, which aired in 2013, documented Brandy confronting Sheena about her relationship with Eddie. It was just a mess, Sheena, who claimed at the time that Eddie didn't tell her he was married, recalled to the recalled to Us Weekly in 2013. I ended things after I found out about Leanne. I stopped talking to him and I've never talked to him again. All right. Side note on this one. I know she's saying that she didn't know in the beginning, but Sheena did know during. She did know that he was married and that the and that Brandy was pregnant. She's talked about this. Even her mother knew, you know. So, yeah, you may not have known he was married when you started dating him, but you knew and you continued to be with him. But also, Sheena was really young at the time. I don't know. I want to know what you guys think about this. You know, I want to know your thoughts on this. Um, But I find it very telling that she said she broke up with him when she found out about Lee Ann. So basically, Sheena is saying, I broke up with him when I found out that he was cheating on me. Not I broke up with him when I when I found out that he was cheating with me. And that's a big distinction. That's a big distinction. So when he was cheating with you, it was cool. But when he cheated on you, it was a problem. And when he was cheating on you with someone who has millions and millions of dollars, because Leanne has that country music money, you know, Leanne's got that money. And so Eddie was like, I'm going where the money resides. (laughs) You know what I mean? He was like, I'm going where the money resides because Brandy doesn't have any money. Yeah, he's an actor, but I don't think he was like rolling in it. You know what I mean? Leanne has that country music money. And we all know Sheena definitely did not have any money at that point. She probably has more money now, obviously. But at that point, you know, she was a young kid trying to make it. And Eddie was like, yeah, I'm going where the money resides. But I think that's an important distinction. But let's keep going. And I want to know what you guys think, too, you know. All right. The Sunset Beach alum married Leanne Rimes in 2011, and they are still going strong. Things in the Vanderpump Rules universe, meanwhile, blew up on Friday, March 3rd, when U.S. confirmed, when us confirmed, sorry, Tom Sandoval and Maddox split because he cheated with Raquel. Sheena has been one of many Bravo stars vocal about the scandal. Every morning when I wake up, I realize it wasn't just a nightmare. It's real. Hashtag Team Ariana, she tweeted on Sunday. 
Sheena also liked a series of telling tweets pointing out that Raquel lied to her too as Sheena defended the former pageant queen when she came under fire for making out with Tom Schwartz amid his divorce from Katie Maloney during summer 2022. Yeah, I knew Raquel was using Sheena to be the scapegoat one post read. It wasn't right and poor Sheena for taking it and still having Raquel's back up to that point. Very true. I mean, that that is also a fair point. You know, there are so many layers to the Tom Sandoval and Raquel affair. You know, not only did they hurt Ariana, but they also hurt Katie. You know, they used Tom Schwartz to cover up the fact that it was actually Raquel who was sleeping with Sandoval. And Katie was really hurt. And I would be hurt, too. You know, I would be hurt. I get it. And then they also used Sheena. So they were going, not only did they mess up Raquel and Ariana's friendship, but they messed up um, Sheena's and Katie's relationship and friendship. You know, they all were thinking, oh, this is coming from Sheena. This is coming from Sheena. When the entire time it was really coming from Raquel and Tom Sandoval to help cover it up. And Tom Schwartz is just as bad in this particular scenario because he knew he was lying and he knew he was doing it to cover it up. And he's still did it even though he knew it was hurting Katie. And like Katie said, you've chosen a lot of things over me. Remember when she was in the restaurant scene and she and she was tearing up and crying because they were talking about the divorce? And he was like, oh, I don't want you to think I chose the restaurant over you. And she was crying and she was like, you've chosen a lot of things over me. And this is a prime example of that. Tom Schwartz chose to keep Sandoval and Raquel's secret at the expense of Katie. So he kind of always chooses Tom over her though. You know, we already know that. We already know that. All right, you guys, Oof, let's keep going. Another tweet liked by Sheena reads, I actually feel just as bad for Sheena because she manipulated her entire effing, because she was manipulated her the entire effing time, just like Sandoval did to Schwartz. Raquel never wanted shorts, but she used them to hide her secret snake. In hindsight, Sheena made points texting Ariana's mom about Sandoval only caring about himself. Hashtag pump rules. That's another thing we talked about. Remember how Sheena and Ariana's friendship really suffered because Sheena was warning Ariana like, hey, you don't really seem that happy. You know, Tom only cares about himself. And Sheena had reached out to Ariana's mom because they have been friends for years prior to the show, you know, for guidance and for help and just being like, hey, you know what? I think Ariana's suffering. And to be honest, maybe the reason why Ariana has battled with depression, not the only reason why, obviously, I don't want to say I know the only reason why I don't claim to know that, but maybe a part of it is because Tom Sandoval, the way he treated her, you know? never being home, gaslighting, all of that stuff. Like you, how could you not kind of be low key depressed if your boyfriend has been cheating on you with alleged multiple, I'll say alleged, you know what I mean? Alleged multiple women for years. So, mm -mm 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 -mm. a fourth tweet addresses the reports that Sheena confronted and got physical with Raquel after their joint appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen on Wednesday. If what they are saying Sheena did after Watch What Happens Live is true, she is the ultimate ride or die friend, The po said the post, liked by Sheena states. Everyone needs a friend like Sheena. Hashtag pump rules. Hashtag team Ariana. Now, this is the thing. I want to know what you guys think on this one. Do you think that Sheena really got physical with Raquel? Or do you think it was just a heated argument? And Raquel's sister, who was tweeting like, yeah, but nobody deserves to get punched in the face. Do you think that Raquel's sister was just lying and doing the most? And it did not get physical. It was just a heated argument. You know, put it down below. Let me know what you guys think on that one. And then also, what do you think about the whole hypocrisy thing? Do you think that Sheena has the right to go after Raquel after what she did to Brandy with cheating with Eddie? You know, I want to know what you guys think. Put it down. Put it down below. I'm kind of on this one. Maybe I'm a softie these days, but I say Sheena, unleash. Dracarish. 
burn it all down. If I said that right, <laughs> shout out to Game of Thrones, probably slaughtered it. But I say, um, burn it down, Sheena, burn it down. I get it. I know Sheena was dead wrong for what she did with Eddie. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I don't think that negates what Raquel and Tom did. And I don't think it negates the level of what they did. And I don't think it negates the loyalty that Sheena has to Ariana, who's her friend. You know, if the whole world went by the rule of you can't defend your friend because you've done something really bad once in your life, then none of us could ever do anything at all because nobody is perfect, you know? And it was a long time ago. I'm not saying what Sheena did was right. And I'm not condoning it. I'm not giving her a pass. But at the same time, everything isn't like you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that, tit for tat. Like, that's not how the real world works. Do you know what I mean? So I'm here for Sheena. Girl, you better get her. Not physically, obviously, but get her on the line. Get her in the tweets. You know, stand up for your friends. I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. And before you do that and stick around my candy canes, we have two more stories coming up. So before we do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It is 100% for free and you get a ton of self-care content. So with that, you guys, let's move on to our next story. Now, our next story is 